the next 24 hours, a lot of changes can go. And um, your name keeps coming up in these trade rumors. What have you heard and what do you think? Will you be an Indiana Pacer? Uh, I, I have no no concerns or, or, you know, I'm here. As you've seen, I practiced today. Um, no, I'm, I'm, my head is not wrapped around that. Um, I got a, a team to turn around in the second half, and that's what I'm committed to. There are reports that you met with team owner Herb Simon. Um, what can you tell us about that meeting, and did you discuss your long-term future here in Indiana? That's between us and the front office. Paul, how do you compartmentalize trade week, especially when you're out there? You made some comments earlier about about your future and about the future here. How how difficult is that to compartmentalize and just put aside and just think basketball? Uh, I mean, it's, it's easy. It's easy. Uh, no offense, but it's you guys that make this situation or, or um, try to make this thing as big as possible. It's, it's, every guy goes through it that's going to be a free agent. Um, you know, again, I'm, I'm committed here, me and the front, myself in the front office. We've had great talks. Um, you know, this is, again, this is where, um, you know, I'm, I got a job to do and I'm trying to turn uh, a season around, trying to get us playing better. Um, you know, that's where my mind is. It's easy to, to block out everything else. Um, you know, it, it, I can't allow that to weigh on me. Uh, this, this, this is what's important right now. Would you like another piece in here, in this locker room, to make it happen? Certainly, certainly. Um, I think we can make moves to get better, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm confident in where we're at and, and what we can do. Paul, is there any, any assurance that what was said between the two of you guys before the season is what remains now, even with the trade deadline tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. We're, uh, again, we're, we're on the same page. We're all, we're all on the same page. Where does a turnaround begin with this team when you get back to it on Friday? Uh, well, hopefully, you know, defensively, um, you know, and Memphis is not necessarily known for three-point shooting, and that's been our Achilles heel. Um, so hopefully uh, we can allow that game to kind of play into our favor. Um, but we got to get back to, to being tough. Um, you know, I said that start of the year, middle of the year, and now, now. Um, you know, we, that's where we got to get back to, just being a tough, gritty team. Um, that's where we really made our name early in, in my, you know, career here is uh, just being gritty. That's what we got to get back to. Is that attitude and mindset as much as excellent as those? That's all it is. It's attitude. Uh, we got to have an attitude. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of nice guys here. Um, we, we need some guys to, to kind of pepper it up a little bit. Did you think somebody was going to get 200 points on uh, Sunday night? <laughs> Yeah, man, I, I I was asking guys, like, man, at what point you guys want to start playing some defense? But um, I think Giannis was the only one that took to it. Um, I wanted I wanted to get after it. Uh, I think we got to change it. Um, you know, uh, back in the old days, uh, get out arena, something to cheer, really cheer for, um, and, and have them uh, know what side they want to root for. Uh, it, it, it's It's... It's kind of a joke to what we're playing right now. Why do you think it's gotten, why do you think it's changed over the years? Well, I just think, you know, guys are, uh, you know, we're so riled up and caught up into the season. We get that little break um, and we want to take advantage of it. We want to do as least as possible and, uh, um, you know, be mindful that it's for the fans. Um, but we're not trying to get hurt. We're not trying to injure anybody. Um, we're trying to make it as light as possible again. So I think that's really why um, you got sort of a lackadaisical game. Obviously, you don't get a break, but do you get any refreshing, any refreshment at all coming back, having that experience those few days just away from here? Yeah, yeah, you certainly do. I think, um, you know, just changing the scene, getting away from, you know, the guys for a little bit, breaking it up. Um, and then what, you know, the NBA is doing now with giving us more days after All-Star weekends really helped. Um, I was able to vacation and, um, you know, just allow myself to just get away. How good is it for where this team is with 20, 30 games left to go to get healthy, get away, and then really focus for that last three-month run? Yeah, it's great. It's great. Hopefully we can take advantage of this. Um, you know, it's not getting easy. We can come back to a back-to-back -back and uh, go on a tough road trip. So, um, you know, we got to get right after it uh, right away. The good thing is we start off on, at home, um, try to get the ball rolling a little bit, and um, take care of this business coming up on the road. Well, ultimately... Do you see yourself finishing your career here? Love to. 
I'd love to. While you were gone, Magic takes over the Lakers. Any reaction to that when you heard that news? No. Um, just, I guess, the rain uh, for uh, cup checks over. <laughs> this is the first time your name has really been linked to so many trade rumors. Most often, you know, you're here in Indiana. Is, is it different to get bombarded by us with these questions and hear your name keep coming up at trade bait? Um, yeah, I mean, again, uh, I've heard rumors to start this year off. I heard rumors last season. Um, I heard rumors when it was coming down to uh, me having to resign the first time. So um, it's, it's part of it. Um, I don't get too caught up into it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I've been that way, and I'm with whatever happened happens. That's always been my mindset. So uh, I'm going to continue on with that attitude now. Um, as far as I know, I'm in this jersey. I'm, I'm, I'm with this organization. Whatever happens, happens. Obviously, you don't want to reveal what your communications with the front office have been. But suffice to say, have you had communications? <coughs> have there been, uh, you know, discussions back for you with you or with your representatives to sort of assure you or, or or let information be shared one way or the other? Yeah, yeah. But um, you know, you just never know in this league. Uh, uh, we've uh, we've had talks, but uh, you know, you just never know what's going to go on. Where will your level of relief be when this period passes and you're still in a pace for Jersey? Uh, it'd be great. You know, it'd ease everybody else's mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But not yours. I'm in good place. <laughs> Were you nervous uh, holding the ball for Glenn or helping him out there Saturday night? Thank you, Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I was real nervous. I was real nervous, actually. Uh, you know, he, just the way it was going, um, everybody was missing their dunks, and I thought that was a great opportunity for, for Glenn to shine. Uh, regardless, he had some great dunks, uh, but I didn't want to be the one to mess it up for him. Um, so I was, I was, I was nervous uh, after I dropped it a couple times and, and the handoff just didn't go right. Um, but once he finished the first dunk, I was comfortable with the second one holding it, and uh, you know, we made it work.